into the course of computer network. Today we are going to discuss how uh, we can uh, design a connection oriented and a reliable protocol which works for transport layer. Because in the last lecture we have already discussed one of the protocol uh, of transport layer which is uh, used for fast communication uh, and it's uh, it's unreliable and connection less protocol. But uh, in this lecture we will see and we will uh, design uh, how we can build a reliable and connection uh, oriented protocol in an incremental way. So uh, here we see in this particular slide that uh, we uh, these are the principles of uh, reliable data transfer. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, first of all we need to understand the prerequisites of designing uh, connection oriented and reliable protocol then we'll start uh, designing it incrementally. So uh, here in this slide you can see application layer and uh, just uh, um, down that application layer you will find transport layer and we know uh, after transport layer we will find it appear over here. So at application layer we have two processes sending process and uh, a receiving process as you can see over here and uh, these are the two processes uh, which are uh, identified by their respective port numbers if this process is at the client side so uh, it must have a random port number generated by its operating system for this particular pro uh, process and if this particular uh, receiving process is at the uh, server side then it must have a well-known port number as we discussed in the last lecture in case of UDP uh, this particular uh, destination uh, process uh, has 53 port number and the sending process has a, a random port number but now we have switched to a reliable and connection oriented protocol so in that case uh, it this particular uh, receiver if it's a server it must have some different port number but it must be a well-known port number so at application layer we have two processes uh, which are communicating with each other but how they are going to communicate uh, through transport layer once uh, data is generated at this particular process that data comes down to the transport layer and if transport layer is using reliable protocol this time here you can see reliable channel is written so if uh, transport layer is using a reliable channel over here then you can see these methods will be used over here because uh, once uh, the responsibility or the task of transport layer at the sending side, uh, side is done transport layer has to pass this particular segment to the network layer and again you can see over here that network layer is again uh, not responsible for delivering your uh, data in a reliable way so again network layer provides you best effort delivery but it doesn't provide you a reliable communication or reliable data delivery so here uh, you can see at transport layer how you can achieve reliable data transfer through a unreliable channel of network layer that you'll see so at transport layer if you are using a reliable protocol uh, so here you can see the method name RDT underscore send this RDT stands for reliable data transfer reliable data transfer protocol at the sending side and here you can see at the bottom UDT underscore send it means unreliable data transfer through network layer but at the receiving side once your data is at the uh, transport layer uh, or sorry at network layer and network layer passes that data to the transport layer reliable data transfer protocol at receiving side will receive that data in a reliable way so it's uh, it's written over here rdt underscore receive method that means reliable data transfer receive method is used for receiving the data through an unreliable channel and that particular data is finally delivered to the application process um, at the receiving side here you can see deliver underscore data so 
is uh, with this particular slide what you can see is if you are using a reliable protocol or a reliable channel at transport layer you have to transfer you uh, that particular data through a unreliable channel but still you have to achieve reliable data transfer if you are using a reliable protocol at the transport layer so if uh, you are using a reliable protocol at transport layer you have to achieve reliability uh, at uh, at the receiving side uh, being your data is getting transferred through unreliable channel or uh, or i should say through network layer so uh, it's all about this particular slide now we'll see the next slide here reliable data transfer getting started how you can uh, start the reliable data transfer again you see uh, the same uh, content which you saw in the last slide that reliable data transfer is used at the transport layer and uh, at the sending side this particular uh, method is used for transferring the data but this data has to go through uh, an unreliable channel uh, for that a method is used is called udt underscore send it stands for unreliable data transfer so uh, this is uh, network layer and once your data is at network layer of your receiving system transport layer receives your data in a reliable way rdt underscore receive method reliable data transfer once your data is uh, received reliably or properly that data is delivered to the application process so that is how uh, that reliable data transfer is done so that is what we need to understand is how we can uh, achieve this particular task of uh, reliable data transfer with a reliable protocol so here uh, you can see uh, that uh, how this reliable data transfer is done in a brief way again that uh, you can see uh, this particular method uh, reliable data transfer underscore, uh, underscore uh, send uh, call from above um, by the application layer and pass uh, data to deliver to uh, receiver upper layer and uh, then this um, udt underscore send unreliable data transfer this particular method is called by reliable data transfer at transport layer to transfer packet over unreliable channel to receiver that means through network layer and here again you can see call when packet arrives on uh, receiving side of the channel once your data is at the receiving side uh, this particular uh, reliable data transfer underscore receive is uh, called to receive the data and finally uh, this uh, deliver underscore data method is called by reliable data transfer to deliver your data to the upper layer and now uh, you will see how uh, we are going to develop this particular reliable uh, or connection oriented protocol uh, you will see shortly but we'll do this uh, thing in an incremental way and uh, for that we will understand the whole process with the help of this finite state machines and uh, where you can see these are the states which you can see and event causing state transition and bot, uh, just beneath that we have action taken on that state transition so uh, we will incrementally uh, develop sender receiver sides of reliable data transfer protocol consider only unidirectional data transfer but control information will uh, flow on both directions use finite state machines to specify sender and receiver so uh, here we start uh, designing our reliable protocol and the first uh, version of that protocol is RDT 1.0 which stands for reliable data transfer 1.0 over a reliable channel that means this RDT 1.0 is a protocol which works on a perfectly reliable channel that means this there will be 
no bit errors uh, while sending the data and there will be no loss of packets uh, while uh, transferring or sending your data through that perfectly reliable channel. So if we assume that the channel is perfectly all right, in that case, uh, what would be our uh, finite state machine at the sending side and at the receiving side? You can see over here, this is a state which uh, says wait for call from our above. That means from the application layer. Here, uh, this particular uh, method is called by the application layer, reliable data transfer, send. And the action taken is you design a packet and that packet is sent through a unreliable data transfer uh, channel, I should say network layer. And uh, again, once you send your data um, through unreliable channel, uh, which says UDT, but here you have already assumed that the channel is perfectly all right. There will be no bit errors and there will be no loss of packets. That means your once you are done with the data transfer at the sending side, sender is not bothered about the data delivery at the receiving side because the channel is perfectly all right. Now we see at the receiving side what happens. Okay, before going into the detail of receiving side, let me tell you this, why we are again in this particular state uh, with this particular loop, wait for call from above. As I already discussed over here that once your sender is done with the data transfer, this sender is not bothered about the data delivery because this particular sender knows that data will be delivered at the receiving side because channel is perfectly all right. So that is why this particular sender is again waiting for call from above. That means again this particular state uh, has come. That means again sender is waiting for the data from the application layer. So now here uh, we discuss our receiver. At the receiving side, again, we have one state, wait for call from below. That means it is uh, waiting for the data um, at the network layer. Once your data is received at the network layer uh, and at the transport layer, that data is received with RDT. That means reliable data transfer under code receive method. Once your data is received by the transport layer, transport layer extract your data from this packet because Packet means data along with the header um, part of network layer. So uh, extraction means removing the header part of network layer from the data. Once your data is at the transport layer, that data will be delivered to the application layer with the help of this deliver underscore data methods. So at the receiving side, once your data is received, once your packet is received, that packet uh, uh, is received uh, at the receiving side, you decapsulate the header part from that packet and that packet will become segment and that segment uh, delivered to the transport layer. And then again, transport layer uh, reliably removes uh, its header and uh, deliver the data to the application layer. So it's a simplest protocol which you can see if your channel is perfectly reliable by itself then they will uh, uh, they will they will uh, they will be not uh, much complex in the protocol only one state at the sending side and uh, one state at the receiving side which is again waiting for the data uh, from the top and from the bottom side of the um, uh, your uh, protocol stack okay now in the next slide we see rdt 2.0 uh, which stands for reliable data transfer uh, version 2.0 and this time your channel is not perfectly uh, reliable because as I um, told you at the start of this particular lecture that we are going to build a reliable protocol incrementally. 
so in the second state or in the second state of this reliable data transfer protocol second version uh, in fact um, this time channel with bit errors that means channel uh, is not perfectly all right this channel may produce bit errors in your data packets so how uh, our protocol will uh, with um, how our protocol will deal uh, with this particular situation a reliable protocol so uh, here you can see how we are going to recover from uh, from this type of errors so here uh, we have to use acknowledgements and negative acknowledgements at the sending side and receiving side um, you know, respectively so as uh, you can see in uh, the second version of RDT uh, protocol which is 2.0 the uh, uh, difficulty level is uh, increased in this particular uh, version because this time the channel is not perfectly all right and it may produce bit errors in the uh, in your data so uh, we have implemented new things in this particular protocol like um, checksum which is used for detecting the errors and once we are done with the uh, uh, checking process to acknowledge uh, the sending or receiving site about the data which they have received, we have introduced acknowledgements and negative acknowledgements for the data. So here you can see FSM uh, specifications of RDT 2.0. Uh, this is the sending site. This time we have two states um, at the sending site because this time channel is not perfectly all right. So sender is bothered about its data which it has already sent uh, from its side to uh, the receiver and uh, at the receiving side uh, we fortunately we have only one state in RDT 2.0 so here we see uh, what happened in RDT 2.0 that uh, the first uh, your first state is wait for call from above and uh, as you can see this is wait for call from below now rdt underscore send method is used for transferring the data reliably you make the packet and this time in the argument section you can see you do not uh, you do not have uh, only data part this time you have the checksum field as well in this particular uh, segment which uh, you are going to send at the receiving side and uh, about uh, checksum we have already discussed about checksum in our last lecture when we discussed about udb protocol so you know how checksum works so checksum is a field which is used for detecting bit, uh, bit errors in the um, data segment so uh, this time you have checksum field along with the data and you send this particular data or data packet through unreliable channel and you change your state after sending the data through unreliable channel this time sender is bothered about its data delivery so that's why it uh, uh, changes its state from wait for call from above to this wait for acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement so at the sending side uh, this will wait for uh, the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement if your data is received and it's not corrupted and how it is done with the help of this checksum field receiver checks the data segment if it's not corrupted your data is received by this method and it is not corrupted then you extract the data from the segment and deliver that data to the application layer but in case and and uh, deliver that data to the application layer and you design a packet which is called ACK acknowledgement and you send it through uh, this uh, UDT underscore send method because this method is used for sending the data through uh, network layer 
So once your data is received at the receiving side and it is checked properly through checksum field and you uh, find that particular data is not corrupted, then you extract the data, deliver the data to the application layer, generate a packet which is acknowledgement because your data is received perfectly all right and you transfer this acknowledgement uh, to this uh, sending side and if data received or packet received at this side is what at this side is you have to see this the packet received and that acknowledgement uh, that is the acknowledgement then what you have to do you just need to flip the state again uh, you need to change your state and again you will come back to your original state wait for call from above if and only if this particular state at the sending side receives the acknowledgement okay and uh, the other case is if you have flipped the state again uh, you have the data you design the packet along with the checksum you send the data but this time receiver receives the data but that data is corrupted or you can see over here if your data is corrupted then you will design a negative acknowledgement at the receiving side and uh, return it back to the sender through UDT here so you are waiting for acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement of your second packet but this time the acknowledgement which you have received or I should say uh, that acknowledgement is negative this time so if your uh, acknowledgement is negative what you will do you will again send that packet you can see through uh, through network layer through unreliable channel you will again send that packet and you will remain in this state you can see this loop over here if you receive a negative acknowledgement you will send your packet again you will retransmit your packet to this uh, receiving side and remain in this state and you will wait for the acknowledgement again because till the time sender uh, doesn't receive the acknowledgement of the packet it will not switch it uh, its state to uh, wait for call from above which means it will not send next packet until and unless it receives the acknowledgement of the last correctly received packet by the receiver so that is how this 2.0 uh, version works when your channel may introduce some bit errors in your data so here you can see this process is uh, done you send the packet again and this time packet is received and with the help of checksum field uh, you found that packet is not corrupted then again same procedure is uh, used extract the packet deliver the data to the application layer you will generate an act and you will send that particular acknowledgement uh, to this particular state of the sending side and once your state receives positive acknowledgement or acknowledgement what you will do you will do nothing you just need to switch your state from uh, waiting for acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement to wait for call from above so that is how this 2.0 scenario works uh, in which yeah. your channel is not perfectly all right it may introduce bit errors in your channel so that is how it's uh, going to work but uh, this uh, rdt 2.0 has some uh, federal uh, flaw or federal error is what happens if acknowledgement or your negative acknowledgement uh, gets corrupted so uh, sender does not know what happened at the receiving side can't just retransmit mm, possibly it will be a duplicate packet but if sending side uh, retransmits that packet if sending side finds acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement is corrupted 
sending side can retransmit that packet but how will receiving side will get to know that the packet is retransmitted or it is a next packet so for that case uh, just uh, to remove this uh, fatal error from this RDT 2.0 version we need to introduce sequence numbers in the in the packets which receiver is going to receive so you understand the thing I'll, I'll brief you this uh, fatal error once again what happens if acknowledgement or negative acknowledgements get corrupted and these corrupted acknowledgement or uh, negative acknowledgements are received by the sending side then sending side can try to retransmit that packet but at the receiving side how will receiving side will get to know that this particular packet which I have already received in a proper way and I have already received the correct packet but the acknowledgement which I have sent for that particular packet uh, got corrupted uh, while uh, going to the sending side so uh, this this uh, receiver may get confused with the retransmitted packet from the sign uh, from the sending side so this particular error is removed in our uh, next um, version of this reliable data transfer protocol with the help of introducing uh, sequence numbers in the packets from the uh, sending side so here you can see uh, stop and wait sender sends one packet then waits for uh, receiver response so here uh, 